Hi, today I'm going to do a boyish makeup and it's inspired by just loads of the shows and collections for autumn winter were sort of a little bit more androgynous than normal. So lots of tailoring and jackets and girls with quiffs and quite, well, basically boyish makeup. I mean, obviously not like theatrically boyish with sort of shadow stubble or anything, sort of pretty boys, if you know what I mean. So that's the look I'm going to do today. Now I'm going to start by using this primer which I discovered in the summer and which was amazing for me over August. It's the Dermalogica Clearing Mattifier and it's a regular mattifier, a silicon based one, but it also has um, salicylic acid in 2%. So I found that um, at night, certainly over August, when I was going out, it really stopped that kind of shine, but also it helped to clear the pores and stop sort of breakouts you get in, in warm weather. So I'm actually still using it now, even though it's September, and I, I still really like it. And I think for this look, I want to keep the skin looking really natural, but I don't want it overly greasy. I want it just sort of very velvety, matte, not too shiny. I'm going to do quite a bit of contouring and highlighting and things anyway, so nice to start with a really smooth and even base. Now for my foundation, I'm not going to use foundation actually, I'm going to use some of this Dior Tinted Moisturiser in number one, and just to give me a little bit of coverage, but again, I don't want a kind of really foundation-y look, because I want it to look my skin to look very, very natural indeed, and very, um, what should we say, sort of perfected, but not in an overly perfected way. And then I'm going to go in with some stick foundation. I'm going to use one of the Bobbi Brown ones from my university palette. I'm going to mix together probably beige and warm beige. Use this Armani quite fluffy brush. And um, I know that Tom Ford uses stick foundation on himself just to smooth around under his eyes and here and there. So I'm going to take a leaf out of his book and just give myself a sort of smoothing here and there. Mainly around the nose, really. Now, I shouldn't need any powder because I've used the mattifier before the tinted moisturiser. And then if you do need to do any sort of small concealing, the best thing to do is just to use an eyeliner brush, so a really fine eyeliner brush here by um, Chanel. I'm actually going to do more of this towards the end because I'm doing a little bit of sculpting and shading. I'm probably going to need to go back in with this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is my eyebrows, and the eyebrows are really sort of key to this look. And unlike the kind of arch brow that, you know, most of us go for, it's always about the arch, guy brows and boyish brows are definitely more straight in the shape. So it's not about making them really black or really solid. Um, it's more about making the shape sort of flat. If you've naturally got that sort of shape anyway, then this looks going to be perfect for you. But if not, then you're just going to need to sort of work on them a little bit. So I'm going to use the Suku felt tip to start with, and this is number one. And I'm going to just slightly take the edge off my oops, arch there. This is just mapping out my shape. I'm going to actually do them with powder. Next I'm going to use a brow brush and some powder. I'm going to use Laura Mercier eyeshadow in Ground Coffee, which is a sort of dark brown you can use any powder that you've got. I'm just trying not to get them completely black, but I want them a little bit darker. And just lots of feathery strokes. So I'm just bringing that shape from here across and just lowering the arch. So I'm just really concentrating on lowering that arch, so bringing from here, coming almost flat straight across, and then from above, kind of joining it up at the outer side, so starting to get that straight shape. So that's my manly brows on, and um, it's definitely more about handsome beauty, this trend. Now, I think when you do your brows, 
bear in mind that everyone's brows are different as well you'll never get them to look exactly the same like on me this brow is naturally higher so just think about sort of getting them as straight as you can without being completely straight because then you look really angry but just a little bit straighter than you normally would if you were doing a sort of 1950s kind of vintage brow um, and also to break them up a bit so they're not kind of like spray on black brows and to stop that happening just don't make them really 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 sort of boxy square here because then they tend to look like this just been stuck on your face okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, I'm going to set my brows actually so this is a Shivata eyebrow sort of glue which is a clear one and brush them all through into the shape so they really stick and hold and also it'll give them a nice manly sheen boyish sheen Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is the Shade and Illuminate palette by Tom Ford. So it's a cream bronzer and a cream highlighter. There's a brush that comes with it as well, which is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate brush. So I'm going to start by using, this is um, palette number one, so this is the lighter version. There is a dark one as well for darker skins. So I'm going to start, this is naturally my sort of thinner side anyway, so you really need to have a good look at your face because as I say, for me, this side is a lot thinner anyway, naturally, than this side. So this is always harder to contour because I don't really need as much on this side. But anyway, if you want to just suck in your cheeks and then just start to, because we don't want to end up with two complete stripes, but just start to shade a little bit just underneath where the light sort of hits the upper part of the cheek and then you notice it starts to go naturally anyway into shadow and you can always add more it's harder to take away if you put too much on so I always think build up slowly with this kind of thing so just slowly start to create the shape and just keep stepping back and checking straight on because you get a really good idea of how it's going to look. I mean, this look isn't going to be for everyone. It's definitely it was quite a you know, catwalk look, but I think it can be adapted and it is kind of a fun if you just you know feel like looking a bit different. I mean, I'm quite a girly girl and I like dresses and I like sort of you know girly makeup but I do quite like this look and I think if I was wearing the right thing and had my hair in the right way and you know had the whole thing going on um, I definitely would wear this look kind of just for a change really I'm going to bring the shading just up as well a little bit here onto my temples I'm going to have to go back and do a bit of concealing there but that's fine you can do your concealing right at the end if you do have blemishes and things and you're using a cream contour or cream highlighter or cream blush or anything like that always remember that you can do all of your highlighting um, all of your concealing right at the end of your makeup so don't kind of start panicking about spots that are showing through at this stage I absolutely love this contour um, cream so you can really add sort of slowly it's very very transparent and very workable and it's a nice brush as well okay once you've roughly got it in the shape you want dry brush any brush this is a blusher brush a mac blusher brush i'm just going to make sure it's a clean brush that we're all edges sorted out i'm also going to use the same cream contour with a eye brush and I'm going to use that in my socket. Exactly the same shade. Just for some definition around my eyes, but without looking like eye makeup. It's a tiny bit coming in underneath. Definitely not a line, because that'll totally ruin it. We almost just want a natural shadow, as if there's just a natural shadow forming there under the lashes. And don't go too far, you don't need too much of it. Okay, now the highlighter that comes with the palette, I'm going to use the same brush again. I'm going to mix some of the highlighter on the back of my hand. 
we don't want it too highlighty because then it's going to get quite girly but it is nice to have a little bit and again this is super sheer it's beautiful this highlighter so just right on the top of the cheeks because it's not a shimmery highlighter I mean it's shimmery but it's very very subtle it's not glittery it still fits in with that boyish vibe okay now I'm going to curl my eyelashes because we want to be boyish but we don't want to be too boyish <laughs> I want to be a bit feminine now in terms of mascara, if you've got really nice long lashes, once you've curled them, that'll be enough because otherwise it starts to get too you know, feminine and especially if you put it top and bottom, it becomes a whole different look. But obviously you want to have, if you haven't got much lashes, do you want to keep it pretty? So you can either use a clear mascara just to give them a little bit more shape or you can use a brown or just one really light layer of regular black mascara but just go really easy if you're using it underneath don't put too much underneath because straight away it's going to look completely wrong the next thing i'm going to do is use a lip balm this is a body shop lip balm i'm going to use that all over my lips and i'm going to actually put a little bit of that right onto my eyelids to give them a bit of a sheen it's not a very glossy one it's quite very low level but just give them a bit of realness there now, in terms of lipstick, it just depends on the natural colour of your lips. What If they're very, very pink or very red naturally, you want to take that redness down. Um, so something like a sort of beigey colour with a little bit of shimmer in that's sort of sheer. This is a NARS one. And just use it as a sort of stain. So it's really about just having a pretty kind of natural natural color but that's not too pinky now I need to go back in and do some concealing so I'm going to go back in with my little tiny eyeliner brush and conceal all the things that I left showing after I'd done my cream contouring if you feel like your concealer's now too light for going in around this contoured area just mix what's on the brush with the um, contour, cream contour on the back of your hand, just pick up a little bit of that and it'll just tint your concealer enough to be able to get away with some really natural looking concealing in that area. So that's it, it's actually a really quick look, just focus on very natural looking skin, um, obviously beautified and you want to be a pretty boy, not a manly boy, um, and then concealing just anything that needs concealing. Brows, nice and straight without being completely straight and angry looking and not too blocked, so not too like stuck on um, brows. And then contouring, really important for this look. You want the contouring to be really beautifully done. No Snickers bars, no stripes, just really beautifully blended and kind of natural looking. Pop of highlighter, not too much. Natural lip and um, that's it really. So I hope you like the look.